Let's go, Meat Boy. It's the meat event, and I cannot wait to see how good Abus Magomedov truly is. Because while, yes, he did just debut and absolutely sleep Dustin Stoltzfus in just 19 seconds, that was Dusty Dinks. And this is Sean Strickland, who, the ultimate company man, I mean, you got to love Sean Strickland being willing to fight the guys that not a lot of guys will. And in so doing is... Uh, potentially relinquishing his top position in the rankings, but Strickland is down to fight the who's who. I mean, he fought Imovov, he fought Pereira. He's he's down to fight these guys, right? So to him, it's like, bring on Magomedov. Let me show this guy what elite UFC talent looks like because Dustin Solzfitz might not be that. So this one's interesting for me. I know Sean Strickland's opening as a minus 175 favorite. Abus is floating around plus 140. And one thing that's interesting to me, Meet, was... Tapology is awfully bullish on Sean Strickland. They think overwhelmingly that he's going to get this one done against Abu Smagomedov. So my question to you is, we know Strickland as a striker, right? He's going to overwhelm you with volume. Magomedov is the same way as far as being known for his striking, but he's much more of a thunderous, hard puncher. Maybe not quite to the level of Alex Pajeda, but of a similar ilk to where this guy can absolutely sleep you with some very stiff straight punches so in this striking affair which is going to unfold on saturday do you like the sharp hard precision of affair that magomedov's going to be offering or is the volume and weaponized pace of strickland going to be the uh, difference in this one who you take yeah this is such a tough one to choose between because you know magomedov has looked great you know since we've since he's been in the ufc um it came from the PFL, has an L over there. But, you know, I just really wonder, you know, has he leveled up? Is he the same? You know, they're both the same age. But I feel like Sean Strickland has really so much more experience. It almost feels like Sean Strickland is going to get this done 90%. Like, I'm surprised to see him as a minus 175 favorite. I'm surprised it's not bigger. But I guess Magomedov really has got that hype and that power, but he hasn't fought anyone that's that good. So it's just such a tough thing to say. I like the odds. I like the hype. I don't really care too much for Sean Strickland. So I'm going to go with Magomedov, but not going to be mind blown to know that I lost my money uh, this weekend. Yeah, I mean, if you're comparing resumes for sure, I mean, obviously Abus has a beautiful record, much like Sean Strickland does, but the talent that they faced definitely differs. I mean, Sean Strickland has fought the toughest guys around. I mean, most people thought he even just won against Jared Cannier a couple months ago, and Cannier just beat the brakes off of Marvin, who we all thought was a, a top three guy. So Strickland is right up there. He's always that close and is a big moment away, I think, from perhaps a title shot, but in this one, me, I mean, we obviously like the experience and the resume of Strickland, but you're still picking Abus. So how do you think that Magomedov gets this one done? Do you anticipate it being on the feet? Is he going to sleep Strickland similar to how Perdetta did? Or how does this fight play out if you are picking Magomedov? Yeah, you know, it, if I think if Magomedov wins, it's got to be by finish. If he if he wins by decision, I'll be mind blown. And uh, I wonder if it's going to be a split close, you know, Cannoneer barely wins, or is it going to be a dominant decision? If it's a dominant decision, I'm all aboard the Magomed I'm never doubting him. Um, you know, I just... Uh, that just Strickland has just so much. It's like we know how good he is, right? And he he's steadily getting better, just slowly. And uh, I, he's probably gonna win, but I'm gonna take Magomedov purely because the underdog, and I like the hype. Yeah, I feel that for sure. And I guess if we're looking for the most impressive win for Abus, it was probably over Sadabu C over in the PFL. And Sadabu just had a great win uh, last weekend. So a good win there for sure. But Sean Strickland's resume, obviously much better. But we touched on it, 75% rolling with Strickland, 25% rolling with Abus. I'm pretty torn on this one, Meat. But you mentioned you'd be very surprised if Abus wins a decision. And for that reason, I'm going to be inspecting what Magomedov by decision looks like because... I came up fat last weekend with that Toporia plus 900 decision. So Magomedov, I'd imagine, will be getting some similar odds there. And maybe he is able to win a decision because Strickland, historically, unless you're Pareto with that just insane power, is pretty tough to finish. So I, too, would be shocked if Magomedov is on the right end of a decision. But it would be pretty interesting and perhaps juicy if he's able to do that for sure. But in this one, I'm going to take Magomedov. I'm not going to commit to decision or finish because... I don't know. I think that I, I can honestly could see it going either way, but Magomedov hits very hard. And uh, 
if he's able to sleep Strickland, then a title shot might be on the in the works for Abus because that would be a very impressive thing for sure. So I'm gonna go Abus. I'm riding the hype train with you. Any last thoughts? No, this is gonna be a fun fight though. A great main event. Uh, low key, guys, this card is stacked. So I hope you're excited as much as I am. Um, very excited to see. Throw in the comments who are you taking. Are you taking Strickland or are you taking Abus? Thank you.